This podcast is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find other great shows on the network, head over to deluxeeditionnetwork.com. That's deluxeeditionnetwork.com. Welcome back to the Graveyard Club. In this new series, we take a visual look back at some of the iconic characters in horror. Starting off today, we are talking about Jason Voorhees and all of his appearances throughout the Friday the 13th series. Hope you enjoy. The good thing about Jason is that throughout the movies he's had, is all different looks, mostly wearing the iconic hockey mask starting from part 3. But let's start right at the beginning with the first movie. It's alive, it's alive, it's alive. And before we get in, I just want to say we are part of the Deluxe Edition Network. If you don't know who they are, it's basically a network, a home for multiple podcasts, all interlinking with each other. It's It's really great to see. And we have everything over there from pop culture, relationship podcasts, music, to movie podcasts such as my own. And every month we grant two podcasts of podcasts of the month over there. So of the month of September, we have Metalhead Journeys and the MILF and Me podcasts. So I'm going to leave a link to their shows in the description. So make sure you're checking them out. So for the first movie, if people remember it, um, there's a great jump scene at the end where the final girl, the final counsellor escapes Pamela Voorhees by boat and that's when you get to see Jason jumping up out of water and it's a juvenile Jason so all you really get to see is like a young kind of kid fucked up kind of zombie looking thing so there's not much to go off so it is a good introduction though to see what Jason would become though if you know what I mean. But part two is when things start really start getting a bit more interesting. Um, Jason is the main killer in this film, and he's sporting a, a sack, looks like a, a, a bidet is like bag like over his head. Very simple. He has a pair of overalls and a little a little cheeky check short on him, like he's looking slick. Now I have to admit, compared to what he ends up becoming in the later series in the later films, but yeah, in part two, Jason's looking fairly slick. And if you remember watching the film, he's he's an aggressive fucker in the film. He actually runs. A lot of the films, Jason only really walks, like a zombie kind of type of thing. But in this film, he's running at you. So he's a fairly intimidating Jason in this one. And I'll be honest with you, I do like the simple idea of the sack over the head compared to the hockey mask. Like, it's an interesting idea. Then for part three, now... Most people know that this is my favourite one. I think this is pinnacle Friday the 13th. But there was a character in it called Shelly. And he was playing pranks and horror little jump scare pranks on all the other casts. And he was actually the one that had the Jason mask. The hockey mask I mean. So you have him to thank for bringing that look into the series. And yeah so it's this film where Jason finally picks up that mask and throws it on and the rest is history. For the rest of the films he's basically wearing a hockey mask. So I have a little soft spot for this film. I love the look, the green shorts. It's just simple. It's very simple, like, do you know what I mean? And a lot of people out there think they should have ended it with this film. Obviously they went on to make a fourth one that we'll talk about more. Um, that was meant to end the series but again it went on. But yeah... Friday the Torte in part 3 Jason, he has a soft spot in my uh, heart. Part 4 Jason, um, very similar to the part 3 one, except there's a big gash in the hockey mask and he's in different clothes altogether. Now, part 4 was originally called Friday the Torte in the final chapter and this was meant to end the series altogether. And this one is featuring Corey Feldman. Now, I have a real soft spot for this one as well. It's, it was always the third one and the fourth one. That was the favourite for me. And it, it is a really good film. If nobody's ever seen this one, you definitely need to watch this one. It's as good as the rest of them. Um, yeah, for the Jason look, there's not really much difference between the other film. Very same hockey mask, maybe a different colour. But, yeah, this like talking about the film, though, this is an excellent film. You definitely need to watch this one. Now, for part five, Jason... Most know this is not actually Jason in the film. With the paramedic, his son dies in the, in the special needs. I'm going 
going to say uh, going to be a short way of putting it in part 5 the paramedic his son dies and he he's actually the Jason in the film with Tommy Jarvis in the film and he, he's get, he's getting creeped out by Jason but it's not actually Jason that's going around doing the killing in the films I love the contrast of the blue mask versus what Jason usually wears is the red mask so it, 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 it makes them separate definitely watch this film if you haven't seen it it's different it's it's not your typical Friday the 13th film there's no fucking Jason he kind of pops up in little visions and all this type of stuff but it's Roy the paramedic that's going around doing the killing very good and I think part 6 Jason was kind of meant to be like um, a return to form if you know what I mean we haven't seen Jason in a long time and you know the Alice Cooper song he's back the man behind the mask you, you, fucking great I think what they were trying to do with this film was to bring it back to form counsellor well it had Tommy Jarvis in it and um, it was a real typical I'd done everything that I said I would do it was it's a really enjoyable film and yeah Jason in this film he, he's back having his red white hockey mask he's, it's just more of a return to form film if you know what I mean um, yeah it's it's kind of a more of a lousy one in the series now it's not it's not a fan favorite I don't think I don't I don't really hear too many people talking about this one but it's it's good it does the job it reminds you of like a a silly or Friday the 13th part 3 Jason does not not much to say he's, he's returned to form he's back and he's ready to go so part 7 Jason this is in my opinion where it starts to go in a little bit of a different direction and he's starting to become a lot more of a an undead zombie you can really start to see like more flesh and more uh, bone from Jason um, in, in, in fairness this film in my opinion is a fucking stinker I didn't like it at all the main girl has like telekinesis powers and she can kind of she can kind of communicate with Jason in that way I didn't I didn't like the concept at all but the look of Jason in this film is pretty cool. He's chains wrapped around him. Um, the mask is kind of starting to get fucking a little bit chewed up or something. I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, it's a cool design. And it's, it's definitely leading more into Jason being a fucking a full-blown zombie. If you know what I mean. And yeah, I like the idea. The film, not so much. But the appearance of Jason in the film is really nice to see. And then obviously the unmasking at the end of it. He looks fucking terrifying. Uh, great to see all together just the story and how the film was done I didn't really like it before we get into the rest of the appearances from Jason throughout the series I just want to talk about a sponsor and I'm not even going to talk about it D here my a you up text yeah we all do all those Sunday scaries the oh shit stressful nervous can't sleep dread feelings that hit you on Sunday evening when you're thinking about work or school or just life for tomorrow Unfortunately, you can feel that same pit in your stomach any day of the week. Sunday scary CBD gummies were made to defeat the crap life travels with us. These are the perfect CBD gummies for professionals on the grind, super moms, students, party animals, regretful drunk sexers, <laughs> and everybody in between. I am a terrible sleeper. My scaries tend to hit me on night time, so I end up spending precious news and hours staring at the ceiling questioning life. So I'm always looking for new ways to get better sleep. Sunday Scary CBD gummies help me decompress, clear my mind and fall asleep so I can wake up like a fully functioning human being. We all have the right to live scare free. So whether you need to take the edge off, calm your mind, sleep better or just chill, take two CBD gummies every day to keep those scaries away. Let me save you with our 10% discount. Visit sundayscaries.com and use our promo code GRAVEYARD. That's Graveyard, all capital letters, for 10% off at Sunday Scaries. Now for part A, Jason. Again, leaning more into that zombie, undead sort of look. Jason in this film looks like he's been in the bottom of the sea the last 20 years. This film is called Jason Takes Manhattan. And it's meant to be all set in New York. Uh, most people may know, like a lot of scenes weren't even filmed over there. Filmed in some other part of America. But yeah, I do like this version of Jason. The hockey mask is a bit more yellow. The clothes are a bit more darker. He's like worms and fucking maggots growing out of his fucking neck and all that. Like it is a great look. And the film wise, it does take in a different direction. It's not your typical Camp Crystal Lake 
uh, story with counsellors it's set in the city of New York so there is some great scenes and it, it, it's different I do like it what's up goreheads this is Ben and Nancy from the Extreme Horror Replay podcast we like to bicker complain needle and criticize and if we're lucky we'll squeeze a horror movie review in there somewhere We've been married a long time, so we know how to argue. <laughs> Check us out on all your favorite podcast platforms, and you decide who's right or wrong in the argument. For Friday the 13th part 9, this is where things start to get a little bit fucking weird, I'll be honest with you. So, yeah, Jason's in the film, but he's not really in the film, if you know what I mean. Jason's ghost, Jason's demon, is more in the film and is taking control of different people. So, we do get to see what he actually looks like, though, in the film towards the start. It's actually a great scene where they capture him, and it's a great scene. He, he looks fucked up, I'll be honest with you. It looks like the hockey mass has had to be shrinking for all them years and his head has had to get bigger. He really looks like this fucked up hills have boys kind of character. Uh, it's a cool look though, he still has the boiler suit on him. Um, there's even little bits of strangly hair on him and all that. It's a, it's a, it is a good look. But for this film, it was about Jason taking control of different people. And I know a lot of people didn't like that. But this one definitely does set up for the next film that we're going to be talking about. I won't say it just yet, but I will say one little spoiler. Freddy Krueger at the end comes and takes Jason's mask. So you know where we're going with this one. So yeah, I, did, yeah, I rate the look for this film, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to give my re reviews of all the looks towards the end, so keep an eye on that. Now, I've never talked about this film before on the channel. Freddy vs. Jason. This one came out in the 2000s, way after all the series of both characters were ended. And it had like Kelly Rowland and all in the film. Like like the cast weren't really good and the acting wasn't good. But I loved the fucking idea of Jason meeting Freddy. It was a match made in heaven, let's be honest. Like. And again, the, the appearance in this film, <clears throat> it was more the classic Jason. It still had them strangly bits from the fucking other film. But yeah, it was just more your classic Jason. He was fucking about, he was about eight feet tall in this film. He was literally, he was a giant compared to Freddy. And yeah, for the film, I, I liked it. It was silly, but there was good kills. There was great scenes in it. And for what it was, it was enjoyable. Most people would agree with me. The design of both characters, uh, Jason kind of, uh, Freddy kind of just looked more like his classic self but Jason kind of looked a bit more like he looked a bit more um, taller a bit more stockier like a proper brew in this film and I, I did like the look almost I was almost getting like Frankenstein vibes off him Boris Karloff Frankenstein vibes off him with the big fat boots um, and just before we get into talking about the last appearance of Jason that we've seen and the last film I just want to say I appreciate everyone that's been liking, subscribing and commenting on the videos over on YouTube. I'm telling you, it really has made a difference over the over the last couple of months. The videos have been doing great. I have um, the hammer I've recently done a hammer coverage over on the channel and just, just going through different hammer films, like more obscure ones to the popular ones, and they've been doing fantastically. I almost want to go back and do them, I'll be honest with you. But I'm gonna leave them for a bit. I do want to talk about uh, other films, more like American films, and I want to bring in different series. As you know, I've started the Grave Diggers um, series over there, and that's going to be more of a general talk show podcast where you can invite people on. So <clears throat> it's like so we're not like stuck to one film. Where we discuss that series is basically locked into talking about one film. So I wouldn't say a lot of people would want to come on just to talk about one film with me so with the grave diggers is it's designed that i can just have people on and we can just discuss anything mainly about the world of horror if you can but if it goes elsewhere that's all right but that's what that focus of the series is going to be yeah so like i said i appreciate all the love that i've been getting um 
if you are on the go and you want to listen to us we are on spotify we upload most of the podcasts all of the podcasts but we have a few youtube exclusives over on the channel but most of the content is over on the spotify as well so if you are on the go make sure you go over there and have a look and do us a favor rate us five stars over there or rate us give us any fucking rating rate us fucking one star if you want we just i want to try to get the ratings up over there because that's that's what goes towards getting on the charts and all this type of stuff so i really want to boost the spotify over there if i was doing as good on youtube as i was on spotify i'd be fucking happy happy you you know so everything is linked down in the description and i really appreciate anyone uh showing love and if you are new here we review anything from silent movies i've just, i've covered plenty of silent films on this channel all the way to modern horror we could try to keep up with everything that's coming out so if that's your thing and you don't mind the irish accent make sure you subscribe and make sure you're checking out the other podcasts on the deluxe edition network there's plenty over there i I listen to plenty of them, Barrel Age Chicks, Spoil My Movie, Quad Pro Quo, there's, there's plenty over there. Um, I can't leave every link down in the description, but if you click on the Lux Edition Network uh, in the link below, it'll come up with all the podcasts, and I'm telling you now, they're fucking brilliant. You need to get over there and check them out. Um, Casey and Ray are holding it down over there. They, they're on the Deluxe Edition podcast, and they, they get uh, celebrity interviews, everything over there. So, honest to God, you need to be checking them all out. If you're a fan of the show or just a, just a plain viewer and you want to come on and talk a bit of shit about horror, um, leave, leave a comment below. Or we, We're on Instagram. It's the Graveyard Club Pod, P-O-D, over on there. So, drop us a message if you want to come on and talk about horror films or if you're, if you're another podcast. or like I'm really starting now to try to get other podcasts uh, onto the show. But Grave Diggers, specifically. Um terrible you know we've there's plenty of podcasts out there i want to work with and plenty on the on the network that i'm a part of so it's going to be a good year and next year it's going to be a great time to be over on the, the graveyard club podcast and um, we're going to take over fuck it so the final movie you've guessed it it's the remake from 2009 and I don't know, I've heard people bashing on this one and I've heard people praising it. In my opinion, it's a good film. It's not my particular taste for a Friday the 13th film, as in I wouldn't have went that direction, personally. But, like, I'm not I'm not arguing with it. It was good. Um, there was good jump scares. And I'd be honest with you, Jason in this film was a lot more terrifying than the other Jasons. He was setting traps, he was, he was sprinting at you. It was just a lot more intimidating in this film, but it was to, if it, yeah, it was to make it a, a, a new age for the Tortilla film. I would I wouldn't have went in that direction. I would have kept it a little bit more classic, but that was just me. I did enjoy the film. So for the look of Jason in this film, we actually have multiple appearances from him in different looks. We do have the the sack boy Jason from Part Two. He makes return in this film, which is nice to see. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's nice to see two different sort of Jasons. And then, of course, we have the iconic hockey mask Jason that we would have been introduced to in the third part of the series. So, yeah. Again, he looks looks very typical. You can't mess up the fucking look of Jason, really. He looks modernised. He looks a little bit more gruesome. He looks a bit more ugly. Um, there's bits of strangled hair again from the other films um, I liked the look of him he, he, he was very well uh, done in the film I forget who played him I don't crucify me I forget who played most of Jason I know Kane Hodder um, played him in a lot of films but yeah I did like this film and the look so that concludes our visual look back on Jason Voorhees um, if you did like today's episode do me a favor and like the video and maybe if you can comment below if that really makes me think like people want to watch the video and i should do more i could do some on michael moore's uh leather face or just like it's just a new little taste to the graveyard club and hopefully people might like it if they don't this will be the last one you know so i enjoyed doing it and um, if you made it this far i just want to say thanks for watching Honest to God, you're great. You're the reason why I keep going, that you're listening. 
this won't be uploaded on Spotify. This is going to be a visual only YouTube exclusive. So I'll, I'll let you know if it ever comes out on Spotify. But for now, this is only going to be on YouTube because I, I want I, I want at least one series exclusive to YouTube to keep people coming back over here. You know what I mean? Currently, we're on 100, uh, 220 subscribers. I know I missed the 100 subscriber special and the 200 subscriber special. So I'm going to wait till we're on 300 if we get there. I'm going to wait till we're on 300 and then I'll do a big special then. I want to do like maybe like a three hour podcast with guests or something. I have a, I have a good idea what I want to do for the 300 subscriber special. So yeah, again, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. You're a fucking G, a gent, you're everything. Um, I'm sip. I'm I'm here sipping on Guinness. If you if you want to know, I'm just gonna have a little quick sip of them. Yeah, lovely Guinness. Um, my co-host is currently out now at a pub, so I just decided to. Uh, I, I really wanted to make a start on this video, so I hope you enjoyed it. Um, shout out to Casey and Ray, everyone over there, the Deluxe Edition Network. Um, they're the best ever. Definitely check them out, they're in the description below, so don't fucking miss out. And yeah, leave a fucking like if you like this figures and the visual look back. We've loads of series coming out now. Right, go on, see you in the next one. Bye. It's alive, it's alive, it's alive!